Hi, I'm Bob from Plastic Pipe Shop and in this video we're going to have a look at what the PCD of a flange is all about. Now PCD stands for Pitch Circle Diameter and it's the measurement from the center of one of the flange holes straight across the center of the flange to the center of the hole on the other side. And it's a really important measurement that we have to pay heed to. Okay, so it's from the centre of one hole across to the centre of another hole. The reason a PCD is so important is because they vary depending on the standards of the flanges. So this here is a, is a three inch flange, a three inch stub and a three inch backing ring. Now this is a PN10 backing ring, so that's the, that's the flange table, that's the standard that these holes are manufactured to. Other standards include BS, which is British standards, and also ASA 150, which is an American standard, but there's loads of other standards as well. They're anything but standard, really. In the UK, we use mainly PN10 and PN16, but on older equipment, you might come across some BS flanges. On imported equipment, which has come especially from the Americas, you might find some ASA flanges. And the difference is, is that the PCD on those flanges is, is going to be different. So if you try and marry up a PM10 flange like this with an ASA flange, the ASA holes are going to be slightly different to these ones here. They might be slightly closer or they might be slightly further apart. And what that means is when you marry the two flanges up, the holes aren't going to line up at all and you're not going to be able to bolt it together. So whenever you're looking to buy flanges to attach onto a piece of equipment or some existing flanges, make sure you measure that PCD from the centre of the hole to the centre of the hole. Let's picture it up here just to make it absolutely clear. So from the centre of one bolt hole right across the middle of the flange to the centre of the opposite bolt hole. Make sure you measure that nice and accurately in millimetres. Don't try and measure it in inches because that will just confuse things. Measure it in millimetres. Look it up on the flange tables on our website which are available either in our technical section or on the flange pages themselves and make sure you're getting the right flanges to match up with the flanges that you've got. If you're just building a whole new system, then I'd recommend, especially in the UK, I'd recommend always use PN10 flanges when you're using PVC. Thanks for watching. Bye.